Okay, so there's a lot of reasons at once that the stock market has been taking a shit. Like it's pretty simple, but it's like many factors that go into one. The biggest factor being the carry trade, right? The Japanese yen carry trade. What the fuck is that? Well, I'm glad you asked because a lot of people out there, a lot of like preppers are like reading articles on their phone and then not really understanding it, but then coming out and saying like, it's an economic collapse. They're gonna try to put us all in cryptocurrency with ledger so they can track us. Like, no, 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 that's not, that's not what's happening right now. A large part of this had to do with the carry trade. So essentially check this out. The Japanese yen has been so cheap lately, right? Like for years and years and years, they haven't raised their rates like fucking since like maybe the 80s, 80s or 90s. So people like, when I say people, institutional firms, right? Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, BlackRock, they were able to borrow money essentially in yen and invest it in shit like stocks, gold, silver, crypto, and it was super cheap for them. So it made sense. They didn't think anything was gonna happen, right? Like, oh, we're gonna borrow this really cheap money and invest it. And then when, when we make our profits, we'll just pay it back. But it's way cheaper than borrowing that money from like a bank, right? Because interest rates are so high right now and like everything is like, if you borrow money from anywhere over here, it's super expensive to borrow that. You're paying like how much percent to borrow this. But if you literally just buy the Japanese yen, you're paying like not even a quarter of that price. So they're borrowing this money over here, they're investing it with the intention of once they make their money and sell these stocks when they've had a profit, all right, they'll pay that back, no problem, and keep the difference. Well, all of a sudden, the Japanese decided to raise their rates. So suddenly it wasn't cheap anymore. And all of a sudden, the people, the clearing houses who facilitated these trades are calling up the companies, all the hedge funds, all the people, all the traders who were borrowing cheap money, they called them up and they said, dude, you gotta pay us back now, dude. Like we want our money, all right? Like this thing is not cheap anymore. Like we want, you gotta pay us, dude. And everyone was like, well, fuck, like all my all my money is like invested in stocks right now. Like all of my money is inve invested in Bitcoin and like, like Netflix stock and Microsoft stock, Apple and like gold and shit like that. I can't pay you. And they're like, dude, we don't care. This is a margin call. You gotta pay us today right now, period. And so all of these different like brokerages and whatnot were like, shit, like all of these hedge funds all of a sudden were like, damn, all right, we have to sell all of our shit right now. And usually what will happen is they'll sell gold, they'll sell Bitcoin, they'll sell like the more speculative assets first. But unfortunately, it was literally such a surprise because like apparently nobody really knew this was going to happen the way that it did. So overnight, literally everybody was like, fuck, now we got to sell all our stocks. And not, not you and me, right? Not the small guys. It's literally all the pension funds, all the fucking hedge funds, like all the, all the big guys, like big money Wall Street guys had to sell their stocks. So what, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? The stocks go down, right? The whole stock market, thusly, starts going down. Now, is it over yet? <laughs> We don't really know. It's stabilized, right? For right now, it's stabilized. We've closed at pretty decent levels the past two days in the stock market, but that remains to be seen. But no, it's not an economic collapse. It's not because we're like going into an imminent recession. We're, we're not. Recession is, technically speaking, two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. We're, we're not there right now, okay? Like maybe by 2025, like maybe we'll start to get closer to that, maybe not. Nobody really knows yet. The data doesn't show us anything yet, but no, like you can't listen to these fucking idiot preppers come on here and talk about, it's this, it's recession is, you know, economic collapse. They're gonna purposely collapse the economy. Dude, they don't wanna purposely collapse the economy, bro. Like these rich motherfuckers rely on the stock market and the economy and us, right? Like, are they trying to collapse the economy? Dude, like that's another discussion for another time. But the simple answer is that is far from what's going on right now. Do not listen to these paranoid motherfuckers who have no idea what they're talking about. Like, just don't. I do this for a living, okay? This is like what I do. I don't do gutter fighting secrets for a living, I wish, but I don't. I literally watch the economy and the stock market and geopolitics for a living. And I'm telling you right now, there was so much shit that happened in such a short period of time 
You had so much different economic data come out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You combine that with domestic political instability, with political instability in the Middle East, the potential of a large scale World War III type scenario happening out there with Iran, you know, kind of threatening Israel and whatnot, and the other way around, da da da. Like, yeah, of course, like everything that happened all at once in such a short period of time literally has led to this. But I'll tell you this, all right? The market has like stabilized at such like a quick clip. I'm not really concerned right now. And I don't think you should be either. So calm yourself down, take a breath, go and fucking like train, do some hand-to-hand -hand combat. And if you need help with that, gutterfightingsecrets.com is the website. We sell great direct download products. And we will teach you how to fight like a freaking elite martial artist, elite, whatever. We will teach you, we will teach you. In the meantime, relax, eat us in, all right? Take a drink, calm down, and I'll see you in the next video.